Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. Today we are doing this messy side bun. Something that is really easy. I can put this thing together in no time flat. It did take me a little bit longer to explain it. And um, my husband bought me, brought me breakfast in between. So this messy side bun took a little bit longer than normal. But I love this look. Um, if it's windy, if it's rainy, if it's, I, I just don't want to have to worry about my hair being nice at the end of a long work day because I have something else I might have to do and I don't have time to touch up or whatever. Um, this is just a look that makes it nice and easy. So anyways, if you want to see how I put together this little messy side do, stay tuned. Okay, so today we're going to start with a messy bun tutorial and I know my hair is kind of in a bun. So I'm going to take it down from my makeup bun and we'll get started. So as far as your hair goes with my little messy side bun, I really don't worry about having it perfectly um, brushed out because again, it's going to be a messy, a messy, I guess that's messy and bun, messy. So basically, if I start with my head of hair, I am going to, because I have thin fine hair, I will go up underneath and usually I'm doing this while I'm upside down, but since I can't take the camera upside down with me, we're going to improvise today. So what I'll do is I'll kind of build up my hair for you ladies that have thick hair that I'm always jealous over. You don't probably have to do this step. But for you ladies that have thin or fine hair, welcome to my world. So again, I just kind of want to add some volume. It doesn't have to be perfect. Now I will take out what will be my bangs. Or what I'm going to use as bangs. And since I don't want those to get messed up or in my messy bun, I'll typically just kind of roll them and place that little bobby pin there so I don't get it in the actual bun. Next, I'll take a little hair tie. And all I'm going to do is kind of bring my hair off to the side. I'll pull out whatever I'm going to use for my wispies. Is that too much wispy? All right, well that'll that'll do. That'll do. So I kind of pull it off to the side. I might try to smooth out anything that looks funky but again I'm not going for perfection so I'm just gonna lightly put a side ponytail in if I have anything that I want to pull up a little bit I'll go ahead and kind of pull out for height because you know I gotta have height. Then I'll take this little bun piece. I, you can get these at CVS, the dollar store, Walmart. Um, it's just a little scrunchy. I've seen women do these with um, socks. For this look, I might not do the sock one. Maybe on top of my head I wouldn't mind, but yeah, no. So. Um, the other thing that you can do if you want it really kind of messy is just back comb it. And it looks like a hot mess. That's okay. So we'll put the bun piece on. And then I just kind of start moving the hair around the bun so that I get it as much around the bun piece 
and then I start working my way. Now if I'm missing anything like down here, I'll try to shove those in the hole as it needs to be. I might need to move my hair around each time I roll the bun. And I just keep rolling that little bun piece until I get it tight to the head. Again, I'm not worried about perfection because it's a messy bun for a reason. Except, oh no, I got my little, there we go, got my little wispy piece in. So now what I'm going to do is go ahead and put this whole, get this um, anchor down. And for thick haired ladies, you can use these. I get these at CVS. Um, those I might put in a spot where you're not going to see. So I'll open it up slightly and get that in the weave of the bun at the same time as my hair. And then as you can see, my hair just kind of hides that piece. So you can do that. If you don't have those, you can use the regular bobby pins. So you just kind of, with this jagged kind of edge down, you just kind of open up the bobby pin, have your bun placed, and just slide those in the sides of your, your hair wherever you think you may need some hold. I typically like those silver ones because I only have to use three of those silver ones in my hair compared to if I am using bobby pins. Because if I use bobby pins, I've got to use a ton of them. Well, not a ton, but you want to make sure you're anchored in good. Okay, so that's really it as far as the messy bun piece. You can kind of move your hair around, you know, as you need to and get it sprayed in place. Once that's done, I'll pull down my bangs. Okay, so what I'm, if you have any like loose spots or you don't like how something is, you can always use your hairspray to get everything nice and then it's spot. You can calm down any flyaways, lift any pieces. Okay, so then next is my bangs. So I don't pull out necessarily all my bangs, but I'll, I do get enough to give me a bit of a side sweep. And then I might straighten out my little wispy pieces. Spray it all and you're done. So it is kind of easy. It, it may have taken me longer to explain it just because I was explaining it instead of just putting it together, but it really is an easy hairstyle. I really like it during the windy days, the rainy days. Um, if I don't have a lot of time to do my hair, I can just do that side ponytail, roll it up in that side bun, tack it down, fix my bangs, straighten my sides, and I'm good to go. And it really goes very, very fast. So I hope that helps you with a messy side bun look. Um, I do want to say thank you for every to everything Ellie. Hello, Ellie. Um, she is a, a faithful watcher of mine and always comment. She's always so sweet and positive. I just absolutely love and adore her. 
Um, she's got two beautiful daughters also. So anyways, um, she comments on my side bun and I told her that I would do a video. It just has been absolutely crazy. So sorry, Miss Ellie, that it took this long, but I hope this helps and um, makes you feel like you can, you and your daughters can do this because it really is very easy. So if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend. And as always, you have a choice. So make it a great one. Until next time.